Hey guys, Swordy Sarah here back with another video again uh, for Maple Story R Evolution this game I've been playing, and I just want to go through the shop, right? The different shops for the different modes and what I think is actually something I would purchase from the shop. So first here is the general shop. I think this is what you call it. And there's a few different types of shops here. So for this, uh, you actually generate like a refresh, I think every hour, if I'm not wrong, uh, we'll see after this takes down. But for this, I actually try not to buy anything that costs coin, gold currency, because our skill upgrades, check it out, our skill upgrades, it's 256,000 uh, just for five times, right? And I'm, I'm behind in skill levels. I'm not sure if this synchronizes with the character level, but yeah, I'm behind in skill levels. So this is why I try not to spend too much of the coins. Uh, kind of like hoarding first. And, and yeah, so you see, it's uh, every one hour, you get a free refresh, right? Uh, depending on you, how hard you want to try for this. So every five hours, you get a full free refresh. And you can come at and check this shop every five hours. Right? So for me personally, I don't buy anything that is uh, like the pad fragments. Or I don't buy anything that costs coins. Because you see... Just one piece of this bonefish fragment. It's already 180,000 coins, which is already like, you know, I can't upgrade any more skills after that. And I need to upgrade my skills so I can proceed with the campaign to do more damage and all that stuff. All right, so I'll refresh here. And so what I'll buy is actually reviving coins. Reviving coins because they can be traded in in the in the adventure mode, the one with time energy. It can be traded in for coins. I saw one trade before, it was uh, 400k coins for one reviving coin. So I always purchase reviving coins, although I own 16 already, maybe I should stop purchasing uh, reviving coins. But for now, I'm still purchasing them. Right. Uh, Obsidian, you use it to break through your rage skill after it's level 50. Uh, I own 44, so I won't be purchasing them at the moment, because they also cost quite a lot of rage diamonds, 240. So for this candy, it's for your pet. To be able to upgrade your pet's uh, XP because later on your pet matches your level. So later on, your pet, because there are four pets, you're always lacking in XP. So I always keep buying these and these uh, potential stones. It's for the brand arena kind of uh, boost. So that's why I think it's worth buying from the shop. Basically, any of the upgrades. So reviving coins, candies, HP potential stones. There's also stuff like the totem upgrade, the totem refined material. And I only buy those that cost red diamonds and not those that cost coins. For the friend points, I am I don't have a lot yet. Um, but this uh, spiritual raw stone can actually be used for your upgrading of your metal. Right here. To, yeah, to upgrade your servant reward. So that's for the shop, for these shops, right? Then the next thing will be the arena. Arena, I'm currently buying uh, the blue stigmata fragment. And you could also buy the mystic trail fragments. Right? Uh, this is to upgrade for the things over here, stigmata, right? You can upgrade it, you need eight pieces to upgrade to nine. Uh, not completely sure how, yeah, if you want to get Gonna obtain this right you actually have to obtain like the marking first this is like kind of like a costume um, so you need 60 pieces first to obtain it and 60 pieces in the shop quite expensive i think if you look here 60 pieces is technically 600 and but it's only 50 times per day eventually you can get it right so i think maybe you want to aim for the mystic trail fragment or maybe the burning trail fragment Definitely. But for me, because I'm almost done with the blue stigmata, leveling it to the next level, so I'll just level it up first, and then I'll go for the Mystic Trail. The other stuff, I think it's not worth it, because these guys will appear also in the Red Diamond Shop, and that's where I purchased them from. Right, so that's all for the Grand Arena Shop. In the Trial Shop, there are... I will actually save up. This is from your Trial. Then I will save up and purchase like uh, these, these gold cards, right? They're only 500, but 410 now. Uh, not sure how much you get per run, but 
Yeah, so I'll save up for these Darkstone Golem, Red Snail, and Skeleton Officer. And for the gameplay shop, uh, for this homeland, and free refresh as well, uh, every two hours apparently. Uh, refreshes. Uh, so I have 11 now, I'll just try to find something that I can purchase. If I can't, then wait until I get all of these tickets. Right, so there's nothing. Uh, don't use this refresh, I don't think it's worth it, unless you have a lot of tickets and you can purchase like everything. Other than that, I don't think it's worth it. Right? So over here, this is the adventure team stuff. It's basically the guild coins. And yeah, I've always I, I think that you should buy the totem, right? Especially if you don't have uh upgraded, right? This is purple, so you've always told but totem. And if you see my totem here, yeah, purple, purple. Maybe these two can show up. Right? Haven't seen them yet, but yeah. So I don't need this Orbis one yet. But I didn't purchase it. Right? And for the flying fish slime fragment, if you want to go to synthesize, right, you need 120 fragments. So I'm not sure. I don't think it's worth it, right? I don't think it's worth it to spend all your coins on this uh, flying fish slime fragment because you need 120. How long is that going to take? All those discounted, right? But yeah, maybe if you can get a surplus of these coins. You can think about that. For expedition, what I like to do is actually I'll just purchase everything one one time, right? Because there's not much in this shop. And see, I have two thousand six hundred. Uh, what can I purchase, right? And we can also purchase the potions, right? One hundred for ten. Don't know if we will run out of potions at all. So one thing you can do, if you purchase like these extra ones, right? You purchase the extra ones, and you're like, oh, okay, what what can I do with them? You know, I don't need them. I need some, for sure. But if I don't, if you don't need them, if you have extras, you can always dismantle, right? So, say like, I'll dismantle this. Is it automatically? It, yeah, I think it's automatically dismantling the ones that you don't need. Right? So you can dismantle this, and then it will transfer that into enhancement materials, right? You can enhance your gear, and then you can become stronger by that. So if you have additional uh, gear, gear pieces, equipment pieces, like scrolls, you can dismantle them. For your gear, totems can be done the same as well, right? This is for the shop, vision shop, and then the off-road shop. Uh, I have not chosen what to buy yet, right? Because SR is okay because you can upgrade your. SR quite easily. You need 40 pieces though, so that it would cost quite a huge amount. So for me, actually I've been buying the sewing wand or divine moonstones with whatever I have. I have 4,000. Yeah, I've just been buying those because, like I said, right, the fragments, they are good. Pet fragments are good eventually when you do get enough and you can actually upgrade your pet. But problem is that you need too many pieces of them and could be getting something else instead. So I'm gambling some RNG here. And I think that's it for the shops. Yeah, so that's it for the shop. That's it for this video. Thanks guys for watching. If you want to play, if you want to check out Maple Story R Evolution, it's just released four days ago, 27th of July. It's a fresh new game, you want to play it, they're releasing a new server every day, every few hours, and the new server is actually synchronized with everyone else, so that means if it's a new server, it'll be day one. Everyone's day one, all content will be day one, and then it'll progress as time goes by. Right, so if you want to check out this game, I'll put a link in the description, Wimper Story R Evolution, and I'll put a link for Blue Stacks that I'm using to play this on. Right. Thanks for watching guys, see you. I see you.